Hey yo, it's your boy Zoops, and well, it's been 10 years. Holy crap, I'm old. Anyways, <laughs> this channel wasn't always called Zooby the Poplio. Once upon a time, this channel was called Super Mario Nifty 4. And then I decided to change it. Because I got the idea for the name Zooby. If you're a long time subscriber from 2013, like 10 years ago, then. Yeah, you would already know that. Anyways, I've made a highlights reel of all of the best moments from the Glitch Mania series and the Zuby Originals. This reel will not include anything from any of the Reddit videos or YTPs or anything before 2017 and also nothing from any of the live streams because I'm saving the live stream highlights for their own individual videos so anyways let's look at those highlights instead of Psycho's voice hearing my voice Today, we are going to be looking at some glitches for... Now, shall we begin? I think so. Use the Mario Tornado. And with that... That you will both be stuck forever, uh, or at least for a while. And has 999 HP. Yeah, and that's how you know he did the glitch. Bad racing games. Because I'm too lazy to make separate videos on these games, but I still want to make fun of them. Nicktoons Racing! Yay! The next game is Sonic Drift 2. Roll that footage! The Oxys. How do you spell? How do you spell the Oxys? Yeah, how? I don't know. It's some bull drifting right there, Miles. Miles. Look at him chuckling. I thought he didn't chuckle. I thought he would rather flex his muscles than chuckle. Unlike Sonic, I don't chuckle. Roll that footage! Future me? Okay. There's no escape from this corridor. Oh wait, yeah, there is. My review is a no. Next game. Where you can be the pirates. Scenic pirates. Everybody. Oh yeah! This is my jam. Hey, right on the ground. It's a super sonic racing. It's time to look. Everybody. Everybody. These are some killer lyrics. We're in space. This is the Rainbow Road. 
of, of the son of franchise. Tracing the monolith, the fire burn. So yeah, there. Back to the live action camera segment. Until next time, I have a question for you. Can you feel the sunshine? Sonic R! It's... It's a game that exists. You know? The story. There is no story. The, con the characters. You got Sanic, Super Sanic, Miles, Knock Knock his Knuckles, Rosie the Rascal, Baldy McNose Hair, Mr. Sonic, Mr. Knuckles, Egg Robo. And everyone's favorite, Tails doll. He's kind of adorable. Don't call me adorable. I'm not adorable. Yes, you are. What I don't understand is, why give the option to remove the lyrics? Sure, the songs are good without lyrics, but they are even better with lyrics. Uh, take me back in time Do another Just feels so Rainbow Road You're the one that makes me feel so high You're the one that I ever want to hear you say goodbye New Year's It's 2019 Watch, Watch. Me? I'm just gonna make fun of my younger self. It's gonna be fun. And of course it's recorded with an iPod touch. Because why wouldn't it? It's a go! My Mario impression is way better nowadays. It's a go! Wait for me! Wait! Feeling like 2006 up in here. Wait, did Mario just say hit it, Scatman? Wait, this is a Mario 64 video and, and, and Mario 64 and Scatman. Oh yeah. Let's get ready. And you better get ready too, cause it's gonna be one heck of a ride. Nope, 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 now said in a 12 year old's voice. All of these bad videos made me realize that mistakes are just life's lessons. You don't have to give up. Just learn from your mistakes and try again. Life doesn't have an undo button. So let's make this year an amazing one. And I'll See you next year. You're either going to be all like, Whoa, this game is better than Brawl! 360 no scope lol, blit, whole fam. Anyway, you thought this series was dead, huh? Well, you were wrong. Welcome to Glitch Mania, punk. Okay, sorry for calling you a punk. Okay, roll the first freaking clip already. Mr. Game Watch will fly all the way 
to who knows where. Earth 67, probably. Anyone in the way. <laughs> Okay, Dr. Mario, me and Mr. Game & Watch are gonna demonstrate how to make eek a missile. Okay. First, we gotta get I'll put some PK flashes in into his bucket. And then I put my shield up and he flies. I got killed in the process of that. But that's okay, because I can come back to life. <laughs> and if anyone jumps in... FATALITY! I spawned a bunch of bombs, Red shells, green shells, Pokeballs. You name it, I've spawned it. Sad thing is, this is probably the most fun I've had with this game. Which is kind of pathetic. Also, check out this AI. <laughs> it's, it's just the best. <laughs> Do I have to tell you that this is a level 9? Oh crap, he's smart now. Do you ever want a one second match? Oh, oh, you didn't? Uh, oh, oh, you, uh, okay, okay. I guess you don't want to play as Master Hand either. Oh, and also, Master Hand doesn't work with every stage. Some stages are glitchy like Corneria here. Don't worry, Mario, I'll, I'll, I'll get up to that, to the great box in, in a second. Just, just let me... Uh... Just, just finish the game first. So today, we are going to talk about this game. Oh, this game. Nintendo. Yeah, because it's adorable. Appear magically. You go into your house and you think that it's gonna go no like normally. And when you exit your house, you are greeted by the fuzzy equivalent to Mr. Krabs. And oh my God! There's a roach! There's a roach! Yeah, I get I'm gonna get ya! Boom! Got it! Oh, okay, and here's a pic of Gabby. Okay, now here's the part where I talk about the music. Hard not to smile while listening to this. And Gabby. I like her. I was just gonna have marriage in it. So I'm gonna show you some glitches in Super Smash Brothers Brawl! Boom! You've Temporarily broken the game. Bow down to your small unicellular god. Have player one be a really hard hitter. Captain Falcon works. Because he's an awesome punk. <coughs> Do. And bam. They will all fly and instantly die. Whoa, looks like MatPat's theory was right! Now I present to you... A funny montage. Okay, I know they were friends in Subspace Emissary, but this is just ridiculous. Looks like Pit's getting close to his crush. 
this is the closest thing we will ever have to Sonichu being in Brawl. Fox and Meta Knight, the two most broken characters in Smash Bros. Bit's not the only one who wants to get close to Zelda. Now for the biggest glitch of them all! <laughs> Bi biggest? You'll, you'll see what I mean in a second. Then wait for the guy who destroys the bridge to destroy the bridge. Nailed it. Have Jigglypuff get the Smash Ball. So her eyes will be all glowy yellow and stuff. Oh, and if Jigglypuff uses her final Smash again, she will just turn back to normal. She won't be bigger. Normal people, weird people, creepy people. But in the wise words of John Tron, with every big fish, there's a leech on the belly. You know, like this. Sonic bootlegs! Because Zuby has run out of ideas. It's called Sonic Adventure 7. Wait, 7? What happened to... 3... 4... 5... and 6? I don't like this. The music's really annoying. <laughs> the spin dash doesn't kill enemies. Can you imagine? The freaking spin dash not being able to kill enemies? Yeah, me neither. Mm, yeah, that game over sound, it's acid to the ears. Okay, let's just start this game already. Every night I lie awake and ask myself, why do I torture myself? Oh, right. For the views. And also there's some text. I, I don't know what this says. And now we're starting the game. I also did a little crouch dance. Uh-oh. Looks like there's a boss. Also, I look a little different. Crap. Dang it. I did it. That's it? That's it? That's it? I did all of that for a black screen? Yeah, no, this game sucks. I hope that the rest of the game has the same amount of quality as the title screen. I I guess. Honestly, why do I even try? I'm out. I'm done. Is is that Mario? Is that Mario in a cage? Whoever made this game didn't know anything about Sonic lore. Am I playing a bad Sonic fanfic? What is this? Disclaimer. This is just satire. Don't be offended. Sonic was just your average teenager working at McDonald's and stuff. And then Robotnik happened! Yikes! And then Mario was in a cage! <laughs> oh, okay. 2 out of 10. 
Would not play again. Would not recommend to a friend. Too much water. Look, I haven't watched this movie, but I have watched the first two movies. And the first two Home Alones are pretty good. <laughs> the slapstick is really clever and also really hilarious. The second one follows the similar plot as the first one, but it's still a sequel. And also, Home Alone 2 had Donald Trump in it. Where's the lobby? Down the hall and to the left. The current president of the U.S. I think I just dated my video. So the movie starts in Hong Kong. What? The movie does not start in Chicago. What? It feels kind of like Die Hard. Man, feels like Christmas already. Yippee-ki-yay, mother- Okay, now this feels more like Law and Order. That moment when your luggage blends in so well that you accidentally take someone else's luggage. Oh man, is that my boy Kevin? All done, Mrs. S. Wait a minute! Who are you? You're not Kevin! <laughs> Alex slammed the toilet seat down on his thing again! <laughs> Silly. He, he just found that he had the pot weight again. Jeez! <laughs> He's good. <laughs> and then they kidnap a dog? Wow. They really are evil. I hate dogs. That's it. She's going down. Mom, what about dragons, giant spiders, mummies, the living dead, and other figments of my imagination? Oh my Arceus. Alex is self-aware. <laughs> So the police arrive. Somebody won't tell me. And they find nothing but Doggo. I talked to Johnny last night. His dad was kidnapped on Monday morning. Seriously, cops, listen to the kid. He has a point. The dog. Ah! Okay, that jump scare was definitely intentional. The car escapes in the most majestic way ever. And he's home free. Yes, doggo, be free. Ugh, it's so wholesome. We think he intercepted a top-secret electronic device stolen from a Defense Department contractor by a group of international criminals working for a North Korean terrorist organization. Holy crap, he explained the entire freaking plot of the movie. Oh, man. Well, how about it? Yeah. Hey, um, okay, uh, I just have... To, uh... Oh, um, is that what? Oh my god, run, 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 run! My R64 really is cursed! Hard to believe that this was made by the same dude who made Last Impact, huh?
Well, it was made by the same dude. Case. Yeah. I might have fallen. Next game. I can hear my eardrums exploding and I already previously recorded this. RACING GAMES! AGAIN! And there are some pretty good racing games, like Mario Kart and... Mario Kart... And Mario Kart... And Mario... Not this one though, this is one's a masterpiece. Chubby Wubby, this is Hubby Dubby. Are you there? Now let's see what the game looks like. Oh sh! Ah! What the f is that? Just roll the footage before I get nightmares. Easy screech. Uh, that's where we're gonna be. That's where we're gonna be. That was absolutely terrifying. Control, take me out of this game. Get set. Ah uh, yes, Satan's arm joint. Now we're jamming now. We're jamming now. We're not jamming now. We're jamming now. Watch out! Damn it! I'm going in the mountains. Awesome! Watch out! No! Can't just escape! No! No, we are not jamming now! And the classic sound. SEGA! Another classic sound. No, it's the boy! It's the boy! Oh. No! Sonic! Sonic! Please, I'm your best friend! Please, Sonic, I'm your best friend! Run! Give me your- Give me your spot, Eggman! Give me your spot, egg face! Face! Or else you, you'll be even more bald, and, you know, you'll have, you won't have any nose hair. Well, I'm gonna get some tweezers and rip it off Eggman's mustache. That's not nah, just kidding. Well, <laughs> uh, oh, mustache dude would never do that. <sighs> See? I got a mustache. I got a mustache too. Yeah. Nah, 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 nah. Can't just say these lyrics! Or else I'll get content ID'd. Because this. Nah. This song is copyrighted! Nah, 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 nah. This song is copyrighted. <laughs> Confederate guy. Na 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 na. Yeah, I have this video content I did. Na na That guy was cool with. Cowboy, hey, 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 hey
na 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 Right there! Right there! It's right there! Sit! Right ah. there, right there! Ah! This game was done in a game by Chelsea Boys. Oh, frick! Sorry. Big move to truckers. Welcome to my auto shop. You get your truck fixed here. Communism. I would like to choose the um. I would like to choose the, 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 the Satian face. I would like to trade my trailer for a tanker. I would also like some upgrades. I will now quit game and never play game again. In Soviet Russia, they. Game plays you because everything is reversed in Soviet Russia. This is the only console game other than New Horizons and the original on the GameCube. Shut up, Amiibo Festival doesn't count. Why not I do a video about city folk? I mean, no one else is gonna do a video about So the, for this game, my name is Zuby. Insert random did you just assume my gender joke here. But there's just one problem. I don't have a house. Look, Rover, I'm 20 years old. I don't need to be lectured on how to live my life. I can live... It just fine. For example, it actually the Happy Room Academy. I wonder if it's gonna be the focus of one of the games in the future. I wonder. You all know the Able Sisters, right? Able's the pure youngest one. Sable's the oldest one. And that's all the Able Sisters, right? Say hello to LaBelle! Deep down, she's really superficial. Unofficial. As you all know from my Wild World video, I really love. Now, I don't mean to brag, but I'm at the top of her awesome list. There's a gnome, there's a fish, there's a hopper right here. Is it as good as Wild World? Nope. Is it better than Amiibo Festival? Hell yeah! <laughs> and well, the orphanage kids are. super normal and not creepy at all. Okay, there's only one arm. But my mom says Santa will bring you one for him. Christmas. Huh? Okay, there's only one arm. What? Okay, there's only one What? Ah, uh, yes. I totally understand what came out of her mouth, and I'm totally not confused at all. Licorice? Now who's licorice? A dog? Honestly, that's a pretty accurate reaction to seeing a dog. <gasps> a dog? And then there's a montage, and I feel like I'm gonna sing a song for this. 
Let's do something for this tree. We are building something now. Come on, don't lie around. Let's do something for the screen now. Judy! Ah, oh, man. Like, he's apparently everyone's grandpa? Santa Claus is everybody's grandpa. But is also no one's grandpa? He's not anybody's grandpa. And also, Santa's apparently Jeffel. Santa can do anything. But he also has hearing problems, I guess? How is Santa going to know which toy to bring to which one of you if you all wish at the same time? And also, think hard. Think hard before you do. But you might as well not think hard, make a simple wish, cause Santa's a busy man, he doesn't have time for you. But you know you have to make a simple wish because Santa has to make toys and other presents for all the children of the world. God damn, that is the most contradictory description of Santa that I have ever heard. Meanwhile, in Mavilda Land... What do you think, Mavilda? <laughs> So, Mavilda wants the kids to stop playing outside. Mavilda also threatens to kick Judy and her kids out if she tells the mayor. And now that you know, you better make sure you don't tell him a thing, or you and your children are out in the cold. <laughs> but apparently blackmailing isn't enough evil for Mavilda. She also wants to frame her for theft. I know! What if I make that good girl into a bad one? <laughs> yeah! So she calls her friend Mel to put an expensive item in Judy's purse. And not even framing Judy for theft was enough. Mavilda feels the need to cut down the tree. Man, Mavilda is just doubling down on the evil today. Because I know she can defend herself. Okay, Pappy, but... To paraphrase Thor, can she though? I mean, she doesn't really seem like the type to typically be able to defend herself, I don't think. And also, can she defend herself in goddamn prison? Their first plan was to get the mayor, but unfortunately, the mayor lives too far in the country or something. So their second plan is to get Santa. You know, Santa, the guy that famously lives in the North Pole. Yeah. Oh no, the mayor lives too far away. But Santa? So, all of the kids changed their Christmas wish to save Mrs. Hopewell. Uh, what about Judy? She is literally the only grown-up human to ever give a crap about them. But the tree is more important, so f*** her. Oh man, it's almost like this plan was really stupid to begin with. I'm sick and tired of your children in that tree! Pack your things right now! You're fired! Holy Jesus! Frank, turn on that machine and do the job! But, but, they're surrounding the tree! Do as I say! Whatever you say, ma'am. Just leave my family out of here. And Mavilda kinda just runs away off screen, like the coward she is. Don't worry about that, little one. Your tree, I mean, Mrs. Hopewell, is going to be all right. Oh, there she is. Oh, no! Crapsicle, she's dead! What happened? I don't know! 
She got struck by lightning! Okay, but why are those people in the background just blank slates? I don't know! God, it's still bright! It's beautiful! Oh, taste! <laughs> I, I, I actually almost fell. <laughs> My God! And Santa leaves. Look, Santa's leaving. Peace be with you all. And he also offers the job of running the orphanage to Judy, but Judy can't accept that job. Wait a minute. You can't take this job, because you'll be busy helping me raise nine children. Nine children? But Ray, we only have two children. Judy, take the hint. He wants to adopt the kids. Oh, and it turns out Mavilda isn't dead after all. Please come with us. Let's have a good Christmas. Merry Christmas. Oh my god. White Diamond's quote-unquote redemption was more fleshed out than this. Hell, even Namari's half-assed redemption arc is more fleshed out. This right here has to be the most rushed redemption ever in not just cinema, but media in general. Oh, nice, I'm done with the movie. Well, anyway, so that was the cinematic masterpiece known as The Christmas Tree. I feel like uh, part of myself just died on the inside when I called it a cinematic masterpiece. Well, that was a fun walk down memory lane, wasn't it? If you want to see more of my old videos, then... Hmm... Well, you could just go down to the dark recesses of my early channel, but I would not recommend that. Or you could instead watch the live stream I'm doing today when this video is getting uploaded. The stream will be starting at 12. You can look at my Twitter, Zoogling subreddit, and, and other stuff in the description down below. And also, don't forget to subscribe. And if you really liked the video, then leave a like. Anyways, bye bye!